Well, we had a bit of a rain delay this morning. It was a little storm cell came through. It's about 7.45 right now. So we missed kind of the first hour and a half, but I don't think the doves would have been doing much of anything to begin with since it was raining. So I tried to get out here right as the rain was quitting. We got all the spinners out. We got one, two, three, four spinners. And then I can't believe I didn't think to do this until now, but I've got the last pass doves down here. And then I've also got them, I've got the three uprights from that six pack. I've got them up here on top of some sunflowers. They look freaking massive. I mean, look at that one. That'll catch some attention right there. So we'll give that a shot and see how that does. See if that changes how these birds want to work in. That power line, it's too tall for me to stand on my bucket and reach up there. I tried to put a clip on decoy on there and uh, the the line was too skinny, so they all just kind of flopped over. So working with what I got, but I think this setup will work good. We're gonna just sit in the same spot I've been sitting in. It seems to be like the perfect little area to get shots from every direction in this field. So that's what we got going on cores here and we're ready to rock and roll. So if you guys want to go ahead and hit that like button for me, let's see if we can get a thousand likes on this video. You guys have been killing it with the likes on the past video. So let's keep that up. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Here we go on the right. Sit. Cora. Good. No. Drop. Good dog. One down, 14 to go. A little slow today. I think the rain put a damper on things, but been seeing a few. They're not really coming in to feed. They've just kind of been bouncing around, going over here, or going over there, just doing their own thing. But I think just a little bit of time, maybe if we can get the sun to come out, that'll help. But yeah, I think it's just a slow start to the morning. They're just hanging out, avoiding the rain. It'll be all right. It. Yeah, ah, here, here. Ah, oh, she broke. She is like dancing on pins and needles this whole time. Keep hunting, buddy. Keep hunting. You got it. You know what you're doing at this point. Hunt it out. Where's your bird? Where's the bird? Hunt it up. That a girl. No fetch. Drop. That's a good dog. That took way longer than it should have though. He was kind of tucked up in there hiding. Heel. Heel. Sit, no, here, here. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's gotten into her today. Pretty sure that was a collar dove. Drop. Nice, that's a big old dove. I'm not entirely sure if these count towards my limit here. I don't think they do, but we'll just go ahead and count it. All right, you are getting a lead put back on you so we can fix this here. Okay, yep, collar doves do count. Sit. No. Sit. Sit. 
Cora. Hold. Drop. It's a good dog. There, hey, we got four already. Definitely way, way, way slower than it ever has been. Well, that brings us up to four. It's uh, definitely a lot slower than I expected it would have been. Granted, I did hunt this yesterday morning and evening, so that might have something to do with it, but I also think that the rain this morning had something to do with it too. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm pretty happy with how it's going. Pretty slow, but we're still shooting some birds. Um, she's getting the hang of it. She's kind of been uh, wanting to break today. So I've got this lead on her. This is the lead that I've been using since we've been training. Ever since I had her as a pup, we've been using these leads from Retriever Training Supply and they've been fantastic. I love the rubber coated material and then the quick disconnect. It's, it's just super handy to have around. So if you guys are interested, I do have a discount code for Retriever Training Supply. It's down in the description. So check that out if you guys got, got a dog and you're looking for a new lead and uh, slip lead collar. So, all right, we're gonna just keep at it here. Maybe hunt for another couple hours and just see how many we can scratch out. Well, that'll do it for today's hunt. I think the rain really put a damper on things and I think we're just kind of in a bit of transition period right now, waiting for this field to load back up. So I'm gonna be out of town for a day or two, so we'll see what happens. But, you know, I think, uh, I think this project's working out really good. We're shooting a bunch of birds out of here so that I had 45, so I'm up to 49 birds that I've shot out of this field. It's pretty darn awesome, man. I'm stoked about it. But I think that's gonna wrap her up for today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave me a like. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And if you're interested, click this video right here and keep on watching some hunting videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one.